here for phase two of another Meredith Lake Winnipesaukee waterfront. I'm here with project manager Hunter Secord with Stevens Landscaping Professionals and he's going to update us from when we were here last in the fall. Pretty much the beach was done for the most part and now behind us there's a bunch of dirt and a bunch of boulders. What are you doing with all those boulders? Yeah, so uh, we're back here since last fall. Um, we are starting to kind of clean up the area up by the house. All the rocks, which seems a little overwhelming at the moment, for the most part will be used here as well as more that we're bringing in. Um, all of the, the spaces are going to be defined by natural boulders. They're trying to keep this kind of as fitting as possible. This is called Woodland Way, so we're trying to keep it fitting to what's been here forever. Um, so there's going to be lots of outdoor spaces kind of formed and, and shaped by these large boulder retaining walls. Um, and then we'll be into kind of shaping out the patio areas and the, um, the kitchen, so. Now behind us where the machines are working, is there going to be a deck or that's out to patio? So there's going to be a setting, a setting set of what we call like wedding cake steps that come off the house down to a patio. From there you're going to be able to choose a direction of either a patio on this side for like a boulder propane fire boulder um, or you can go the other direction for an outdoor kitchen. Um, there's going to be high top bar seating, a uh, refrigerator, um, a grill and then another cool feature which I'm going to wait until next time to show you because we've never done this before. It's nothing crazy but it is kind of unique for um, an outdoor kitchen and something cool that we're excited to share. So awesome. wait till next time. So next time surprise outdoor kitchen element. Yep. Very cool. Now, right now, what are the next steps in order to prep for the patios and things like that? Um, well, we obviously, we always start with the design process. Design is great. Um, it gives the, the customers a chance to really see kind of how it's going to all play out. Um, but one of the best parts is kind of working through that with them when we actually start the installation process. So we are going to be kind of cleaning up top where there was a lot of blasted ledge and material from when the house was originally excavated for the foundation. Um, right now the goal is to kind of clean all of that, get the boulder retaining walls in place and meet with the customers as a group and really paint out where things are going to be going so they can start to see it before we really start executing. Um, it's not really going to change but it'll give them a, a sense of where things are going to be, what heights are, are the patios are going to be at and how it'll all kind of flow together because you know, paper, like I said, paper is great but to actually start to see it on site. Um, so really that's the goal from here is to get it really to a clean blank slate and then build up from there. So how long is that timeline for a job like this, on a scale like this? Um, Weather dependent too. Yeah, I mean it, we in the next week here we should have um, it back to like a clean slate and we should be starting our boulder retaining. Um, from there we'll start to prep our patios, do our preliminary gas leaving, electrical work. Uh, patio prep with the crushed stone and all of that. Um, so I would say, you know, within the next two to three weeks, we should have the site pretty well shaped out to start the what we call site work to hardscape process, mm -hmm. which is the patios and the steps and all of that. Awesome. And so now you can't tell us what the outdoor kitchen element is. What else is coming, you know, after you've prepped everything together? Uh, some cool features, we have the uh, gaming area, so there's going to be boulder retaining walls kind of shaping everything up top. Below that there's going to be um, a long gaming area that can be used for horseshoes, cornhole, um, really it's sized for multiple different activities. Um, below that there'll be another kind of wood burning fire pit that is away from the house, so there's setbacks for propane, um, which are a little less strict per se than uh, wood burning fire pits, so once we get our safe distance away from the house, we'll be doing a nice natural wood burning fire pit. The front is really just um, a quick splash of lawn and then some front walkways and some and some plantings as well. So Awesome. Yeah. Well, super excited to see it. Thanks so much for sharing. Yeah. And I guess we'll come back either for our phase three or the final product. We'll see. Yeah. Thank you.